problem 10.2-1. The A36 steel W14 by 53 column is fixed at the base and unsupported at the top. Determine the critical buckling load. Here's the column. It's a wide flange member, 12 feet tall. Fix at the base, free at the top. Let's find critical load. The equation we'll be using is Euler's critical buckling load equation, which is shown. The variables that we need to find for this equation are E, that's the modulus of elasticity. We can find that for A36 steel, since we're working in US units. That's going to be 29 times 10 to the third KSI. The length we're given is 12 feet in the problem. We'll want to convert that to inches so that our units work out properly. K will be our effective length factor for fixed free end conditions. K is equal to 2. The variable I've left for last is the moment of inertia. To find the moment of inertia, we will need to go to section tables and find a W14 by 53 section and find its values for moment of inertia. So if we went to section property tables and looked up the W14 by 53, we'd find two values for moment of inertia, the strong axis moment of inertia and the weak axis moment of inertia. For our column, which is fixed at the base and free at the top, the weak axis moment of inertia will control. Now substituting in all of the values for the variables in the equation, we get a critical buckling load of 199.1 kips. And we're done.